After living in the United States for the first 20 years of my life and spending the past eight years in France, I've noticed quite a few differences between the two cultures, the most noticeable of which being the size and overall health of the populations. There are much less overweight people in France compared to America, which means that culture has a major impact on people's health and appearance. Statistically, the French also live longer than the average American. These are nine reasons why the French paradox, or the French's ability to enjoy unhealthy things, or supposedly unhealthy things like saturated fat, bread, and red wine, yet still live long, healthy lives. So the first would be smaller portion sizes. In France, quality is prioritized over quantity. Excess is not normal for the majority of the rest of the world. Smaller portion sizes means smaller caloric intake and higher quality food. The second reason would be they have a healthier relationship with food. Plenty of French people are eating things like steak and potatoes or ham and cheese sandwiches with butter on a daily basis. In a place like the US, these things are cheat meals. So you'll see people depriving themselves and eating quinoa salads, but they'll binge on Ben and Jerry's later that same day. The French are advocates of life's finer pleasures uh, and are more inclined to go for what tastes insanely good in moderation. They generally are not emotional eaters and don't renounce entire food groups such as gluten or dairy. So they are less likely to binge eat in moments of weakness. The French do not try to have a perfect diet and they don't go to extremes. The French have a healthier relationship with alcohol. Too much of anything is, is bad for you. The poison lies in the quantity. Too much alcohol is deadly, but people who abstain from all forms of alcohol also statistically die earlier and are less healthy than moderate drinkers. Americans, on the other hand, tend to binge drink. Another extreme aspect, it's, it's, it's all or nothing. At the high school and college parties that I would go to growing up in America, that's all we would do. In fact, the whole point of the party was to get as drunk as possible uh, playing things like beer pong so you could brag about it the next day. In France, alcohol is not a taboo bad thing. It's seen as something that helps with digestion, almost like a food, and pairs nicely with meals while providing a light buzz. They don't drink to get drunk most of the time. There is less consumerism in France. Snack food is a byproduct of consumerism and it contributes to overeating. You don't need a snack if you're feeding yourself correctly. Americans are notorious for having a horrible relationship with food because they go about feeding themselves the same way they approach mostly everything else, which is with excess. We were not meant to be constantly eating and food should not be something to keep you busy when you're bored. If you do feel the need to snack, you're probably not feeding yourself correctly at your main meals, and there probably isn't enough healthy saturated fat in your diet. Snacking places more unnecessary stress on your digestive system and keeps insulin high, making it easier to store fat instead of burning. The French eat slower and enjoy meals as a family. The French see food as something to be enjoyed together and take time to savor it and appreciate the moment. They don't wolf down frozen pizzas in front of the TV. They, they often have multiple course meals with high quality ingredients and have small breaks in between. The French diet includes healthy fats. Animal fats do not make you fat. Overeating, stress, depression, snacking, lack of sleep, sugar, and being sedentary does. Fats that are traditionally used in French culture make up a significant amount of their caloric intake. They enhance taste and satisfaction and promote overall health compared to the omega-6 laden sunflower and canola oils generally used in America which kill people. Butter, olive oil, a large variety of cheeses made with raw cows, goats, and sheep's milk, egg yolks, uh, creme fraiche, animal fats, 
These make up the majority of the fats in the French diet. All of these fats are great sources of vitamin K2, which is a fat-soluble vitamin important for bone health, heart health, healthy teeth, inflammation, autoimmune problems, cancer, brain health, insulin resistance, and it reduces your risk of dying from all causes. The French walk. European cities are made for humans. They were originally made for people and horses, not cars, which means that everything is usually within walking distance if you live in the city, as the cities are more concentrated. The French are more likely to bike or walk to get their groceries, visit friends, and to work or get to school. They spend less time sitting down, generally speaking. There is less social acceptance in France of being overweight. America is an individualist culture where people are entitled to being whoever and whatever they want to be. France is a collectivist culture, so you are ostracized to a greater extent if you stand out. The French are generally less open-minded and accepting of differences, and you are judged based on how you look. Subsequently, most people try to stay within the status quo. There is less stress in France. Chronic stress and weight gain are directly correlated. The French enjoy more vacation time, longer breaks at work, free education, and free health care. These all contribute to a generally low-stress lifestyle and a, a slimmer population that lives longer. Aesthetics and style are valued in French culture. French people are aware of the fact that being overweight is not becoming and looks actually matter in life. They're, they're known for making sacrifices to be stylish. Being overweight just isn't chic. To wrap up, the French paradox is not a paradox. Two plus two equals four.